All I've found are those mysterious orders from half a year ago. Maybe he's trying to manipulate me. I hate playing other people's games. The rescue subs should be close. I've had enough fun here. Alright, welcome back to Resident Evil 6. We are still on this submarine, and this should be the last video for Ada's first level. It's, uh, it's not very long. Well, most of the levels in this game, as long as you know what you're doing, aren't really that long. I'd say most levels will run you mm, somewhere between maybe like 30 and 40 minutes. And there's the next Serpent Emblem. That one's kind of tricky because it's just kind of hiding. But up here we have yet another stealth segment. As Ada is a little more stealthy than, than the rest of the characters. But you're not going to get a ton of these past this first level. I think there's like a couple enemies in this room, or maybe it's after we drop. I think it's after we drop down. Could be better. The AI in this game isn't amazing. I think I said this in the first video, but it's not the hardest thing in the world to sneak around. Uh, that guy that I just totally ignored, that's really the best thing to do against that guy. Just don't even bother with him. Because it's usually not just one shot to kill him. And he's either going to get aware that you're there because you missed him the first time or you just didn't kill him the first time, or other enemies will hear you trying to finish him off. So it's just better off not to, to bother with that guy at all. And always check your corners in, in areas like this. Again, this is no Metal Gear Solid. These characters aren't going to hear you running up behind them. I have to make sure that the ladder isn't going to attack us. So, of course, since the last video, or the first video in Ada's campaign, where I talked about how there's been no news on a new Resident Evil game being announced since, uh, since, you know, um, I keep wanting to say Comic-Con, but it's not Comic-Con. What is the thing? E3! That's it! I should know that. Uh, TGS has come and gone, and they have, of course, announced Resident Evil Revelations 2. They pretty much announced it the day after, or like the week after I recorded the first video. I'm, I'm pretty excited for Resident Evil Revelations 2. It, it looks pretty much like a, you know, what if Resident Evil Revelations was made for the, you know, for a console instead of for the 3DS. And it starts Claire, which I'm really happy about. I'm glad that Claire is coming back and actually gets her time to shine, even though I don't think Allison Court is playing her anymore. I'm pretty sure they got Liara from Mass Effect to play her, Allie Hillis. Which is weird, because she was already Jessica in Resident Evil Revelations 1. But, I don't know. This is gonna be one of those series where, when it's done, I'm gonna be a little, a little sad. Because it's been almost a year-long thing at this point. Like, I think it started in March, and it's gonna end, hopefully, in all of October. And I got some special things planned for the month of October. I got two Capcom, you know, related horror games going on. I got Resident Evil 6 and Dead Rising 3 should have started uh, probably yesterday. So I'm really excited about that. Dead Rising 3 is a game I've been wanting to do for quite a while. And this is all, you know, normal stuff for Ada here. So as you can probably tell, Ada's is a bit of a combination of, I guess, Leon's and I'd say Chris's, or maybe Jake's. Jake's, I don't think, had as much action as Chris, so I'd say it's a combo of, of Leon and Jake. 
with, you know, some new twists on it with the stealth. I don't mind the stealth. I think the stealth is pretty cool. And Ada has some really good uh, tracks in the soundtrack. This sub isn't going to but I will say her first level is her weakest level, just like Leon. Although, unlike Leon's, hers is relatively short. Like I said, it can be about 30 to 45 minutes. Whereas Leon's went on for like 8 hours. Yeah, I, I'd still have to say it probably goes Jake, Chris, Leon, Ada, but that doesn't mean that I don't like Ada's. It just means in this game that's my least favorite, but it doesn't mean it's bad. And depending on the day, it'll either be Chris or Jake as my favorite campaign. I usually lean towards Jake just because his is such a such a blast to uh, to play. And this level is going to get really annoying really quickly. Oh, I thought that would maybe conceal our escape, but it did not, unfortunately. And I do like how they throw the, the Neo Umbrella troops at you in, you know, Ada's first level, whereas in other levels, or at least for Chris, they were like his endgame enemies, and they're her first enemies that you fight. And I actually want to say this is the only level that you fight them in, because past here it's kinda just zombies. Well, you'll get some Joavo too, but for the most part, it's zombies. So I guess in that respect, Ada's has the most amount of variation. So this part can be kind of annoying, as long as you just keep moving forward, you really shouldn't have too big a deal. But it can still be really obnoxious. It doesn't help that the camera kind of freaks out and... Uh, what you really need to do is conserve your your stamina. So I would say crawl a little bit, then you know leap, press the X button, and you'll kind of crawl uh, a little farther up like that. You need to conserve your stamina because if you just keep doing the the crawl thing, you will run out of stamina and you will most likely die in this section. It's happened to me a couple times, and it's uh, it's not fun. They do give you a pretty generous amount of time, but again, if you run out of stamina, you are screwed. And no, I don't know how this is working right now. That's one of those button presses when they give you ample enough time to, to press it. It's not, they want you to, you know, live from that one. They don't want you to die there. So much for the rescue sub. Time for plan B. Did we have a plan B? What is plan B, Ada? I'm very, very curious as to what plan B could possibly be. The only way to go is up. So this is where the level's gonna get really annoying. A torpedo control should the be sub up. is now, of course, filling up with water, and we need to escape it within a, a certain amount of time or else we will die. One thing I don't like about what I've seen from Resident Evil Revelations 2 so far is that it looks like it controls very stiffly, at least compared to this game. It looks somewhere in between Resident Evil Revelations and 6, which isn't great because I do really like the fluidity of the controls in 6. Also, it looks like they got rid of the melee. And as you should probably all know at this point if you've been watching this series, the melee is one of my favorite parts of this game. And through here is going to be one of the trickier serpent emblems to get because we are in a bit of a time limit. And the camera does move like that, so it's kind of annoying. There we go, we got it. We 
Your first time through this part, I'm gonna say you're probably gonna die quite a few times. It's not the easiest of sections, just because it's, it's fairly unforgiving with time. In parts like that, I'd say doing that little, you know, sliding move is very, very important because otherwise you're gonna have to actually crawl through it manually and that takes a lot of time. And time isn't exactly on our side. So if you do get stuck doing this, just kind of do the crawling bit. Sub is sinking fast. This part can be really annoying just because of the camera angle. It doesn't quite look like that there's nothing there, so you might get tripped up a little bit. I don't know, th this part is just kind of frustrating for me. Maybe other people don't have a problem with it, but I just don't really like this part at all. Because there is a lot of stuff that just, you know, slows you down for like no reason other than to slow you down. Because I'm sure that'll stop all that water. Now, the level still isn't done being annoying. Because pretty much from here on out, it's going to be just annoying. Right off the bat, we've got a whole bunch of Nesdos in this area. There's... I think they don't stop spawning until you're done with this area. But that might just be me being crazy. Just because of the amount of Nesdos that I've encountered in this area. So there's the uh, Serpent Emblem. I think that's the last one in the level. Yeah, that's... That is definitely the last Serpent Emblem in the, in the level. So we don't really need to worry about that. All we have to worry about is getting off the sub before it uh, goes down. Gonna take more than a handprint to operate. So this part is uh, oh, ugh, this is this is the worst part right here. This is probably so. Not only is this one of the worst parts of the level, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's one of the worst parts in the game. I I'm not a fan of this. What we have to do right now is look for. I think we have to turn that on. We have to turn the power on. And that can take a little bit, because this place is so big and open. And like I said, look, more Nesdos. There's tons of them. For dealing with Nesdos, just shoot the little bee thing in the middle, and eventually they will die. Of course, that's not going to stop them from attacking me, because Nesdos are jerks. So right down here we got more swimming controls because I guess they they remembered that you know at the end of the development cycle they were like wait a minute Leon had a swimming section we should reuse that so it doesn't go wasted <sighs> 
So right now, if you've forgotten, we are looking for something to turn the power on. And that would be this here. Okay, power's on. Now, let's see how much coaxing I have to do. And now all we have to do is get back. I think I pointed this out before, but I do like how if characters get wet, their costumes actually do get, you know, wet for a little bit. Like Ada, when she gets out of the water, she'll be wet for a little bit, but not for, you know, too terribly long. It's still nice little details. And now we just have to make our way back. This place is so confusing, I hate it. I really do, I hate it. So this next part, after after we get back to where we want to go, I will be, uh... I'm, I'm just gonna stop talking, because... There's a conversation that happens in that room that's really... It's not... It's interesting. It's, it's not really the most important, but I will let everyone just listen to it without me babbling over it. Uh, but that part is really annoying because you have to stay in a specific square of that room in order to get the conversation to continue happening. And there's enemies all over the place, so the, the conversation can continuously get interrupted and start back up. So that's really annoying, and again, one of my least favorite parts in the game. If not my least favorite part. And that would be it here. You see that, that little area in the middle of the room? That's where we have to stay on here. And if we leave this area for any reason, the conversation stops. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Answer all questions into the microphone. Identify yourself. I'm a little busy right now. Try back later. Please state your name. All right. I'll bite. Ada Wong. Answer all questions into the microphone. Ada Wong. Authorization approved. Six months ago, you performed experiments on humans in Edonia. You were following Simmons' orders, but it was your choice to do so. How do you plan to atone for your crimes? Uh, interesting story. Might want to do some fact checking now. I don't work for Simmons. I've got nothing to atone for. Authorization approved. I know everything about you, Ms. Wong. <laughs> everything. I know what it is you're looking for. A world of chaos. Am I right? If you know me so well, you shouldn't need validation. A world of chaos? Not number one on my list. But it would make Simmons squirm. So I need to consider. Authorization approved. Perfect answer. Now, a final question. Are you ready? Hold that thought. It's my turn. Who are you? Authorization approved. I have no obligation to answer you. My final question. What are you fighting? Whatever the hell gets in my way. And the virus always seems to make a cameo. Hm. I like your answer. Identity verification complete. And it's a way for you. Looking forward to seeing how this unfolds. Authorization complete. Releasing locks now. I'm glad that's over.
find anything interesting? A recording from six months ago. Then the trip was worthwhile. What's the matter? You still haven't figured it out. Allow me to clarify. Tomorrow the U.S. will suffer a bioterrorist attack. After that, China, and then major cities all around the world will suffer the same fate. At the hand of Neo Umbrella's very own, Ada Wong. If you think I'm going to sit back and be your scapegoat, Simmons, you've got another thing coming.